Hey guys, Jolts here, and today I'm going to cover 10 more crazy glitches in Borderlands 2. You guys requested to see more glitches, and I figured, why not? Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you all for the support recently. Uh, this channel has been doing better than ever, and is keeping me motivated to make more cool videos for you all. So thanks again for the awesome support, and let's get into the video. At 10, we have the Element Swap Glitch. Now this glitch isn't game breaking, but it's fun to mess with. It works with almost any weapon. All you need to do is shoot a gun and before the bullets land, shoot a different gun with a different element. You can achieve that by swapping weapons and shooting, or going into your inventory and manually swapping. It will cause that first gun shot to switch over to that element when the bullets land. It's very useful for speed kills since you can match your enemy's elemental weakness for a lot of extra damage. For 9, we have the Floor Breach in Veracidus' Arena. If you are having trouble killing this jerk, you can use this glitch to slowly but easily kill him. All you have to do is go to the outer ring of his arena and do a grenade jump up to the rocks. Follow the ring all the way to the end and drop down and find an opening. Walk in and you will not be under Boris Arena. I'd recommend packing an Infinity Pistol and also a B-Shield because this will make it as easy as possible. What you can do from here is shoot at Vora's toes, since they stick through the floor a bit and whittle down his health. It will take a bit to kill him using this glitch, but at least it's an easy kill. After you kill him, you can down yourself, respawn back up top, and claim your loot. Also enjoy this body launch glitch when you die under his arena. For number 8, we have Zero's Boar Skill Abuse. I was a little bit iffy about adding this to the countdown, but let's face it, it's a glitch. Most of you are probably familiar with this glitch one way or another. Basically, when you shoot overlapping enemy hitboxes, it will stack damage insanely high, exponentially. The best uses for this glitch that most are familiar with is with Bunker's hitboxes and Hyperius. If you want to abuse this glitch to the max, you can duel a friend and use many other sources for boar. At 7, we have the Infinite Ammo Glitch. Now, this only works on Salvador since the old method was patched a while back. All you need is any Vladoff launcher and a gun that consumes one ammo per shot. Simply put the Vladoff launcher in your left hand and the gun that you want Infinite Ammo on in your right. Shoot your Vladoff launcher once and you now have Infinite Ammo on your right hand and gun until your gun circuit ends. The reason this works is because Vladoff launchers have the ability to give you a free shot every third shot. Since you are holding that free shot on your launcher and not shooting it, the effect transfers over to your other weapon. For number 6, I chose the Infinite Money Crate glitch. This was found by a guy by the name of Yellowhat256. To do this glitch, you will have to progress the Clan Wars questline. Once you reach the end of the Rainbow's quest, make sure you do not complete it. Start the quest and follow Bagman to his hideout. Once you get there, kill him and pick up the key. Now open at least one of the loot stashes and leave the map. Make sure you do not use the key on the exit, otherwise it'll finish the quest line and ruin the glitch. After you head out and back into the map, it will show that you failed the quest. Go ahead and do the steps once more. Follow Bagman, kill him, and pick up the key. This time you will notice the loot stash you opened earlier is now still opened. It is now glitched and can be opened infinitely for money. In UVHM you can hit the game's money cap in 5 minutes. At 5, we have the Instant Action Skill Cooldown Glitch. To do this, you will need the little Eevee Pistol. You can get one by doing the Bioshock Easter Egg over at Magni's Lighthouse in the Captain Scarlet DLC. What you want to do now is shoot the gun at least once so you can reload it. Go for a reload and immediately end it by swapping weapons and going back to that gun again. Do this a good 20 or 30 times to get Instant Cooldown. Once you are done, you will now have Instant Cooldown on your Action Skill after killing an enemy for a short time. At 4, we have the item duplication glitch. You will need a friend to help you do this. First, equip the items you want to duplicate. Start a trade and put in the items you want to dupe. For example, I will be making a copy of this unkempt herald. 
Then go ahead and click the dual option. What you want to do now is put that Herald back in your backpack by replacing it with a different gun. After that, go ahead and drop the Herald on the ground out of your backpack. Now have your friend win the duel. He will now have a copy of the Herald in his backpack and you can pick up yours off the floor. This works with any items you can equip on your character. For number 3, we have the Treasure Room Breach. Now normally you are only supposed to get into this room twice on each playthrough. There's actually a few different methods to get back into the Treasure Room. Most people use the elevator method which involves getting stuck in the Leviathan's hitbox so you can climb over the Treasure Room door. I don't like using that method since it takes a long time and can be tricky to set up. My method involves using rocket jumps to get back in. Now this works on all characters except for Krieg. Krieg has a heavier weight and cannot rocket jump properly. If you are using a character other than Salvador, you will have to use a Grog Nozzle's Drunk Effect to get higher rocket jumps. As you can see, you can use a few jumps to get on top of the cave and use a long jump to get back into the treasure room. It can be a bit tricky to learn at first, but once you do, it makes farming the treasure way faster. At 2, I chose the Morning Star Glitch. This allows you to stack up infinite critical hit damage on any weapon. All you need is a Morning Star Sniper, which you can get as a reward for completing the Hyperion Contract 873 over at the Overlook Bounty Board. To do this glitch, do the same thing as the little EV glitch. Shoot up a shot, reload, and swap weapons and back. I would recommend turning the game sound low or off because otherwise you will hear this. Yeah, the gun is really annoying. Anyways, after you're done stacking, reload the Morning Star and hit one critical hit with the gun. After that, quickly swap over to any other gun and you will now have insane critical hit damage. Finally, at number 1, we have the newly discovered Infinite Amp Damage Glitch. This was found by Shadow Evil 1996. This glitch allows you to stack up infinite damage on your left gun with Salvador. All you need is an amp shield that is not the B and any other gun. For whatever reason, the B shield does not work with this glitch. All you do is equip the amp shield, save and quit your game, and start the game back up. Each time you do this, you will be increasing the amp damage on your left gun while gun zerking. When you shoot your left gun, you will do insane damage. The only way to get rid of this glitch is to close and reopen your game. So there you have it guys. Now there is a ton of glitches in this game, but these are the 10 I wanted to cover. Let me know below in the comments what your favorite glitch in this game is. If you guys enjoyed the video then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be epic. And again, thank you for all the awesome support recently, and yeah, that should be it. So take care guys, and peace out.